Hi everyone, uh, so you're on to your third week of your Run Your Neighbourhood uh, training plans. So this week really has focused on uh, raising the intensity of the workouts that you're doing. So for example, in the 5K program, you'll see that the RPE or your rate of perceived exertion has went from like four to six up to maybe seven or nine. So the intensity of what you're looking to do in terms of your workouts has definitely increased. Uh, you will find this a little bit harder, but stick with it. Um, just like the first couple of weeks, you will get used to this and you will become accustomed to the, the extra intensity. And as you get closer to the six weeks, uh, that will become your new pace in terms of completing your 5K. Uh, uh, additionally, within the 10K program as well, um, you'll see that the, the efforts in terms of the 1Ks have become a little bit more specific and have added in a faster finish towards uh, two of your sessions as well. So that small build towards the end of your runs and especially your, your faster efforts on the, uh, on the Tuesday and the Thursday, if you're doing them like that, there will be a small build towards the end to replicate that situation when you're in a race. It starts to get a little bit harder and you have to dig that little bit deeper when you're fatigued and tired. So really we're focusing on trying to be able to, um, tolerate that level of, um, intensity when you're fatigued so that when you do go into a race situation uh, you're used to it your body knows that okay well I can push that a little bit harder just to maintain the speed you're not looking to really get any faster but you're looking to try and maintain the speed that you're you've started out at but obviously you're going to be a little bit more fatigued so you're trying to press on through that and press on through it now obviously try and keep it that it's only towards the end so in the 10k program it's the last couple of k that you're starting to build don't start to build from early, early on. Leave it to that last couple of K. And equally, in the 5K program, we're still continuing to build the overall um, uh, uh, distance that you're gonna cover. So at the weekend, you'll be doing, some people will be up, upwards of 4K, uh, continuous running. Uh, so trying not to stop, trying to push on through that, trying to increase the amount of time that you're running and decrease the amount of time that you have to take a break in between. But all in all, everything is exactly the same. We're more or less halfway through uh your your program and you should be well on your way to becoming accustomed to the the training schedule that you're in and uh hopefully you're still enjoying it uh stick with it uh the weather's starting to get a little bit um uh more uh colder uh these days uh, a lot darker in the mornings and the evening times so make sure to wrap up uh stay safe out in the road and again enjoy your program and any questions or concerns uh throw us off an email and we'll do our best to try and answer it Okay, see you soon next week. Enjoy. Bye-bye.